Hey guys, this is April at Georgia Mom Plans. I have another planner video for you today, and this video is going to be my sticker storage. Now, I have not really changed much about my sticker storage since my last video, but I don't think I've filmed this in a while, and I've had a few requests, so I thought I would get it filmed, and I thought I would really talk about how this is working for me because I kind of feel like I'm on the verge of changing. I'm not finding everything that I want and I'm not utilizing all of the stickers that I have because I don't see them because these have just gotten so full. So a lot of it has worked for me because I've kept it this way for a while um, but I just feel like I'm ready for something different. But I also don't really want to put a lot of money into it because I've already purchased all of this organization. I wouldn't be able to sell a lot of this stuff because it's personalized. So I just, I don't know where I'm going next, but I want to show you where I'm at now and kind of go through all of my sticker albums with you. I've got sticker albums and I've got um, sticker uh notebooks. So let me get all of this out of the way and I'm going to kind of group everything together and go in segments of um, how I have things broken up and how I have them organized and I will have um, the shops linked below um, for some of these uh, sticker albums. Some of the shops are now closed, some are still open um, and obviously I will not link all the stickers because y'all my collection is quite large, but let me get all this out of the way and break all of this down for you. All right, the first albums I want to start with is my foil collection. I wanted to start here because these are my largest collections by far. Um, I did eliminate hollow from my collection because I just didn't really pull from it a lot. And I personally, if I have a hollow kit, I would just use silver. Um, so I did these stash my whole hollow collection as well as my hollow um, foil binder. So all I have is silver, rose gold, and gold. I did have some off the wall foil too in a separate binder that I also de-stashed because I'm never going to pull in other foil types. That is just not my aesthetic, my planning style. So I just have these three foils and then my gold is very very thick and definitely the largest of the three and I do have regular gold and light gold in here. I don't mind them mixed whatsoever. So let's go through gold because it is one the largest and two I feel like I have it organized the best because I use it the most. Um, I will do a quick flip through of silver and uh, rose gold as well but I'm going to do kind of an in-depth fit flip through of gold. So first off, this um, sticker album is from Planning Roses. I do believe she still has these in her shops. I in her shop, I really like them. You can get the um, spine of the sticker album customized, however you want um, or whatever you want this to say. Um, it, I just have foiled stickers and then you can choose the foil type and I chose gold. So my gold and silver albums are the exact same. They both say foiled sticker and I just got one in gold, one in silver. Absolutely love that. I love the blush pink background. Um, it's a really nice album. I've just got it way too full. So how I have this filled. The very first sleeve here are my date dots. Um, I do have clear date dots facing forward and then a white paper date dots facing forward in the back. So this is always the first thing I pull into my spread are date dots. And then I have some date covers. I have way reduced my date cover collection because so many kits come with date covers now. I really didn't feel like I needed as many, um, but I do have some here. And then I have all of my hello months and month scripts. Then I have all of my holidays. And um, all of those things are things that I would really pull first into my spread. So that's why I have them at the um, front. And now we're moving into my decorative section. So these are full box overlays. Again, I've pared this down a lot as well because I buy so many foiled kits. I don't need as many overlays. Um, so these are decorative overlays and then these are script overlays. I don't have, I think there's just one sheet of those now. Um, next, I have um, solid uh, headers. So these are either confetti or bow solid headers. 
and then I have seasonal full box overlays and then seasonal deco so this is a lot of like spring and summer deco um, there's probably some fall stuff in there too and then these are um, header overlays and I've actually started using some of these overlays as headers just because they're so pretty. Um, but these are clear paper overlays, um, all mixed types. And then these are dividers. And then I have solid foiled headers. And then these are um, scalloped headers. Some are bows, some are lace. I've got weekend banners. Again, I don't use a ton of these because kits either come with it or I just don't pull it into my spread anymore. Um, I just don't use them as much. And then these are an assortment of like decorative dividers or um, overlays or just decorative pieces. And then here is a mixture of boxes. And then I guess this is kind of very similar to the other. These are like string lights. But I guess they're also decorative overlays, but I've got bottom washi string lights and then like full box string lights. These are all um, hexagons. And then here I've got like a mixture of doilies, circles, uh, scallops, and boxes. I, I really need to go through this because y'all, I just have so many sheets in here I don't pull from it. Um, these are all hearts, and then these are all bows. So that's all of my decorative section. Now we're getting into the more like foiled functional section. So this very first sleeve is all for my son, whether it be scripts or icons. Definitely need to break this out into two sections because I've got a lot of stuff for him. Then we've got reading, again, scripts and icons. Um, so this is just standard reading and then this is Harry Potter related and then this is cleaning and then I this one I have broken out this is cleaning icons this is cleaning scripts then I've got coffee icons and scripts um, this is all for walking my dogs birthday um, this one it just says pool day just random in here <laughs> Uh, date night food again this one is very thick I've got icons and scripts this one definitely needs two sleeves of its own oh I guess just this thick one is icons and I have got scripts on their own whoo that's a thick one um, game day this is all um, sports related either football or basketball so next I have my board game night so this has got board game night scripts and icons as well as like puzzles I kind of have all like games grouped together in that sleeve and then this is happy mail I think it's just scripts and then this is like me time I've got uh, nails and like wine a few different things kind of me time theme this one is school I'd held on to this for a while. I got it in like a grab bag and now I've started using it marking daycare drop off. Um, this is sleep and or nap. We've got uh, scripts and icons. Planning time. This one's got quite a few options in here too. Again, scripts and icons. And then this is seasonal. And I kind of just rotate through. I've got spring, summer, uh, fall and then like winter as well as like Christmas so I kind of just rotate through um, put the you know current season in the front um, honestly the majority is uh, fall and winter in here and this is grocery shopping again scripts and icons travel movie night television um, wine slash drinking any alcoholic beverage this is working out in yoga. Um, these are work icons. And then I've got work scripts. I also have a FaceTime script in here. Probably should have that one separate, but it's a lot of work scripts. Um, actually, I think this may be, yeah, this is FaceTime and day off scripts. And then this is work scripts. And then these are uh, filming icons and scripts. Or these are just the icons, and then I've got the scripts here for film, edit, and upload. And I've got like YouTube play buttons, 
YouTube scripts. And then these last sleeves back here are um, kind of just grab all like samplers. So these, this first one is all uh, transparent sampler icons and then transparent sampler scripts. A lot of these were freebies. And then scripts on white paper and then icons on white or colored paper. And then this very last uh, sleeve here is just water the plants. I had gotten this one after I had set all this up and just didn't feel like reorganizing it. So I just put it here at the back and it leaves one empty sleeve. So this thing is slammed full. I think I would really like to be able to separate some of these out. Um, have scripts and icons in separate sleeves or even you know the sleeves that have four options so I could see the icon and the script for a few different things. Um, I, I have loved using these. They're just so full. My collection is so large. I don't know that this is meeting my needs the best as it could or maybe I could split this into two albums and have like functional stuff and then like decorative stuff and two different albums that's also an option so I don't know I just know this gold album is quite large and I don't feel like I'm utilizing everything that's in it as well as I could um, but it's also my fault that I have put together such a large collection so that is gold foil and then next is Silver Foil. Like I said, it is the exact same um, sticker album. I also have this one pretty much organized the exact same way. Um, I just don't have as much silver. And then my seasonal part of silver is mainly just Christmas. I have a few um, Valentine's Day, but like fall um, and Thanksgiving, I usually just get gold and rose gold. Um, here's some summer stuff though. So it is configured um, in pretty much the same fashion. Rose gold is different because I did not go through and reorganize it because it's not near as large as gold and silver. So it's not as well organized as these. Um, I, I love silver. It used to be my favorite foil, but now I definitely use gold more. Um, hence the reason that album is so much larger. But there's, um, I don't really know if it's, because whenever I order foil, I order all three normally, unless it's like a season specific thing or a kit specific thing. But for some reason, I have so much more gold. I don't know if it's from freebies or samplers. I don't know. Or maybe I've just used up more of my silver. I'm really not sure. But most of the same sheets I showed you and same sections I showed you in gold are the same in silver. Here is just a slightly, slightly smaller. This is still a very packed album for sure. Um, but the same, I don't feel like I'm utilizing everything that's in here just because I can't see it all. And a lot of these samplers I thought about taking out and putting into a sticker album as well or a like a sticker sheet album. So I thought about doing that as well. And then again, this one I have two empty sleeves. So I must have at least one section in gold that I don't have in silver. But this is still a rather large album. And then moving on to rose gold. Rose gold is definitely my smallest foil collection. I have been using it a lot more, but um, it's not near as big as gold and silver. This album is from a shop that is now closed. It was Bodacious Prints, and she lets you personalize it. Since it has my name on it, I don't really feel like I can de-stash it. I mean, maybe someone would want it. Again, I feel like I'm not utilizing everything that's in here um, because I just can't see it all. This one, like I said, is smaller, but it's still pretty hefty. Um, the one thing about rose gold is rose gold foil color um, varies so much. Like Scribble Prints Co. rose gold is a real pink, and then some is, you could barely tell the difference between gold. So the rose gold foil compared to silver and gold definitely has the most variety of foil like colors. Um, in general, I have this organized the same. Um, I just feel like some of the um, items are in different order than the other ones and I have 
not as many options as I do as gold and silver. Um, rose gold just historically was the foil that I have used the least. Um, so I feel like I have purchased it the least if I only, you know, chose two foil colors. But generally, I just order all three. And you would think this one would be larger since I don't use it as much, but gold still takes the cake there. But a lot of the same groups here. The rose gold seasonal is pretty thick. I may have something different. I've still got samplers, white paper, clear. Oh yeah, so back here I have a ton of empty sheets for rose gold. So uh, that is all of my foil sticker storage. I do have a nice shelf on my desk that these fit into nicely um, to keep them standing up because they are so thick. Um, they do stand up on their own, but they do fall over quite easily. So these, um, I will show you a forward-facing look at my foil storage at the end. But I do have all three of these standing up next to each other in my little desk. So let's move on from foil. All right, so after foil, my next largest album is definitely my icon stickers. This is just a variety of icon stickers, and I do have two albums here. These are both from Planning Roses. This one is just called Icon Stickers. This one is just called Stickers. And in this one, I have the stickers that I use most frequently for myself and my son. So stickers that I pull pretty much every single week, I put in here. So this one is very small. It's a it's like small sampling of stickers. And then this one is the large majority of all of my icon stickers. So what this does not include, it does not include character stickers from Fox and Pip or Once More With Love or Nightingale Paper Co. All three of those character stickers have their own binders. It doesn't include any food or beverage. That one has its own. And it doesn't include um, seasonal um, slash celebrations and functional. So this is just icons and scripts outside of those categories. So it's quite the variety and also quite full. So I've got um, cat stickers and then dog stickers. Um, this is like cleaning house chores. Those were the icons and then the scripts for that. And I've got date night scripts um, with hubby scripts and then couple uh, icon or couple character stickers. These are custom character stickers. I don't ever use these. Um, and then I've got Disney movie uh, scripts, uh, doctor appointments, emotions, Harry Potter, game night, game day, so more like football, basketball, um, yard work, house chores, uh, phone slash FaceTime, family, uh, grocery, laundry, movie night, me time. Um, so these were me time like icons and this is more like nail appointment uh, specific me time. <laughs> uh, nap slash sleeping, planning, and those are planning icons and then planning scripts. And then happy mail specific, so just a lot of envelopes. Podcasts. Um, these are random activities, so I have like basketball, bowling, tailgating, just a lot of random activities. Reading. Um, and then those are reading icons, reading scripts, and then reading characters outside of the characters I said before. These are samplers. Um, planner sale scripts, errand scripts, target scripts, and then other stores. So I have like Trader Joe's, Sephora, stores that I don't go to as much. And then I've got shopping characters, travel. Um, these are online meetings, Zoom, television, working out. And then this back is just random. These are zoo characters. So I still have a lot of sheets back here empty as well. And then the very last sheet back here, I have all of my pregnancy related things. These are things that I obviously don't need very often. I haven't been pregnant in over two years. Don't know if I'll ever be pregnant again. So they're all back here at the back just in case I need them again one day. So that's my icon stickers. And then this small 
um, album, like I said, just says stickers. And these are ones that I pull from in almost every single weekly spread. So um, these are work icons, work characters, and work scripts. Again, these are all non-foil. And then work late script, meeting script, day off script, and then canceled, rescheduled uh, little labels. Um, cleaning checklist, these are all from Nikki Plus Three. A month scripts, film, edit, and upload scripts, and then filming icons. YouTube binge scripts, and then YouTube icons. And then I've got um, an empty sleeve here is kind of separating my stuff from my son's. So back here is all stuff for my son. So you've got like playtime icons, my son's name script, family um, snuggles, cuddles scripts, bath time icons, bath time script, boy mom script, mom life script, um, stroller icons, park playtime icons. Um, I've got an empty one here because this one is actually in my memory planner right now for the spread I'm working on. And this is uh, daycare scripts. And then splash pad icon. And then back here are uh, just, well, I guess it's just one. This one says important. Um, I sometimes use this in my sidebar. The other thing I use a lot is highlights or currently. Um, so all of those scripts I keep here and whichever one I'm using that week I have in my memory planner. And then this is another like pregnancy, um, but I've also used it for like baby showers, um, sampler from 90 Gold Paper Co. So this is kind of a random little binder that I could definitely integrate with another. Um, I just had this one, so I put my most used um, icons and scripts here. So let's move on to characters. So I have two albums of character stickers. This um, album is from Planting Roses. I love this one, it is so cute. And this one is from Nightingale Paper Co. Um, this is for her Winston character. So this album is strictly Winston's. And then this album I have split between Fox and Pip and Once More With Love. These are my three favorite characters to use. Um, so it felt appropriate for them to have their own albums. So let's start here. This one does say character stickers. And in the front, I have Fox and Pip. And I have, I, I kind of would like to have all of these have their own sleeve. Um, and I may be able to do that, but I kind of have them grouped together. So this is like working. Um, this one's just called In the Zone. It's like a working girl with coffee, a laptop icon, baking, um, her squad stickers. I love these. So I have myself, my husband, my son, a few friends that I see frequently, and then also the foot pop sheet, um, which is my husband and I, and I love those. This is um, the uh, like happy celebrate laundry me time. This one's called pampered quiet time sleep planning. Um, and so this is just regular planning and this is the comfy planner. I love both of them. Um, reading, sit and relax, out and about. I've got a few different shopping sheets in here. Um, this is the large like shopping cart. Uh, working out, yoga, uh, game night, heart balloon, little gem for when my son takes gymnastics. Uh, fishing and bowling. Oh, and then this is a seasonal sampler. Honestly, the the bowling, fishing, game night, I should probably move because I like to have just like the character stickers in here. Um, so I definitely could do some rearranging of those. And then I've got a few empty sleeves here to separate into my Once More With Love section. So these are all of my munchkins. So the first sleeve here is all of the munchkin sampler sheets. And then YouTube binge, wine. Um, I think these are just dog ones. It may be a variety of animals, but I think they're majority of dog sheets. Cleaning, coffee. Um, this is like love. There's a few different like kind of date night love um, sheets in here. Disney, uh, best friend sisters, FaceTime. Um, this is all food related ones. So there's a variety of food sheets in there. And this is like junk food ones or like eating. 
yard work, gardening, game night, um, birthday, happy mail. Um, this is grandparents and family. And these are all the baby slash toddler ones. This is probably the thickest one. I would definitely like these to be separated because I have a lot of sheets in here. Uh, pregnancy, sleeping, another planning. See, I could definitely rearrange these better. Um, reading. Uh, these, I, th I think this is just like a sampler and it was like, you will be all right. Uh, cramps working and then this is seasonal um, and I I have these I can rotate like I should do in the other seasonal right now I have summer in the front but I kind of rotate through these based on the season grocery shopping wedding television and then Pokemon Go my husband and I used to play a lot we have not recently but I've kept this sheet here so um, the Once More With Love section is completely full. I really feel like it could have its own album so I could see all of them more and then I could kind of spread out Fox and Pip as well. But that is my character sticker. And then the other character sticker album is, like I said, Nightingale Paper Co. Winston specific. It says Winston Collection. Um, I don't know if she still has these in the shop. She may, but I love her character, Winston. So I have a lot of Winston's in here. This thing is almost completely full and I do have this one double-sided unlike the others and what I did was I just put white pieces of paper in each sleeve so I could do it double-sided. So I've got birthday and cleaning, uh, coffee, there's a lot of coffee in here, Disney, doctor, um, phone slash FaceTime, grandparents, cooking, eating, um, and then I kind of broke out, this is like Asian food, hamburgers, tacos, and sweets. And then these are just Winston pinpoints, game night, uh, watering can, Harry Potter, uh, happy, laundry, bath night, movie night, music, nails, sleeping, traveling, uh, money, happy mail. These seemed appropriate together. Um, planning slash organizing. And these are the little Winston location stickers. Um, reading icons, reading Winston's. Uh, sad, school. And then I have the seasonal broken out for these. So I've got spring and summer and then fall and winter. And then grocery shopping, target shopping television, um, like car travel. The other one was kind of like packing travel. Um, rainy day, work, workout, yoga, um, like working at the house, building, uh, biking, don't ever ride a bicycle. <laughs> this one came as like a freebie in an anniversary, I think last year, it's the King Winston. Don't know when I'll ever use this, but I have it. And then I do have a few empty sleeves here at the back. Oh, I don't know what went, oh, this was the baby Winston. I used up all of those sheets. And then here, this is like motivational quotes and then the Olympics. But then I do have a few freebies here, or a few empty sleeves here at the back. That, that is my character sticker collection in two albums. So let's move on to my last two albums. All right, so these are the last two albums. Um, both of these are from shops that, well, I think Wild Summer Design reopened, but this one was from Bodacious Print that is now closed, and this one was from Wild Summer Designs, which I think she has reopened slightly. Um, she probably doesn't have albums in her shop, but um, this album here, I just put a label on it. It says food and beverage. It just says stickers. Um, so I have, like I said, food and beverage. This is one of my favorite um, categories. I have a lot of stickers. So the first half is all beverages. So I've got alcohol, wine, mixed drinks. So it's more like beer, wine, mixed drinks, and then coffee Monday scripts, any type of other coffee scripts, and then coffee cups, coffee characters, and then personalized coffee cups, seasonal coffee cups, um, iced coffee, Starbucks bags, Starbucks run script, 
a boba milk tea, smoothies, lemonade, hot chocolate. So those are all of the beverages there at the front. Then I've got some empty sleeves there in between and then moving into the food section. Um, I've got takeout, scripts, and icons, um, sushi icons, um, Japanese food, Korean barbecue, ramen slash pho. Then I've got breakfast. This is a thick one too. I would really like to break this one apart. Um, barbecue, Chick-fil-A. This is Chick-fil-A slash chicken of any sort. Um, these are just like eating uh, utensil icons. And then eating scripts, dinner scripts, salad, um, french fries, and I think there's some other like fast food type stuff. Yeah, it's like french fries, pizza, and burgers. Um, crock pot icons and cooking icons. Um, these are like samplers. So there's a lot of, again, pizza, burgers, fries, just mixed sampler sheets. Um, all pizza, um, all Mexican food, ice cream, and ice cream and sweets. And then I've got fruit here at the back. And then a charcuterie board and peanut butter. <laughs> so random, and I do have a few empty sleeves at the back of this one. Um, I definitely feel like I could break this out some so I could see these more. I love all of my food stickers. All right, so for the last album, this one I have titled Seasonal Slash Celebrate and Functional. So kind of a random collection here, but in the front, these are celebrations and seasonal stickers. So I've got like happy birthday banners, happy birthday characters. Honestly, this should probably be with Fox and Pip, but it's a bunch of different birthday. Um, bows just randomly in here. Uh, again, Disney doesn't particularly need to be in here, but I feel like going to Disney World is a celebration. And then now moving into seasonal, these are all floral sheets, just a variety of florals. And then this is summer, and I kind of have all the florals kind of as spring. And this is summer, so a bunch of pool day, swimming, that sort of thing. And then this is all um, like fall, and then Halloween. Um, this is a mix of different season banners. Um, Christmas and then like winter and then these are kind of like Christmas uh, New Year's samplers New Year's and then I've got some random like winter stuff um, and then these are all just random uh, scripts so uh, just these are all ones that I've gotten like quotes or scripts um, sometimes I pull from these, but honestly, not a lot. I used to put a quote sticker in my B6 Rings planner, and I don't really anymore, so I just have all of these quote stickers as well as some headers here. A lot of stuff that I don't use. And then this is a journaling sheet, kind of like Happy Mail sampler. I just didn't know where to put it, so I put it right here. So now this is my functional section. So these are all like functional non-foiled sheets. So I've got uh, date dots, date covers, um, headers, um, hello seasons, hello months, um, extender boxes. Um, these are the like full extender boxes and then the half extender box. Um, labels and corner boxes. Uh, watercolor swatches, little post-it notes, hexagons, doilies, a ton of glitter headers. So many glitter headers. I do pull from this pretty regularly. Um, and these are other headers slash um, mix sheets, um, holidays, and little tiny dots. Um, so this one definitely could use some work. Um, I don't feel like I pull this one down very often at all, and I have some good stuff in there I need to use. So that is everything for my albums. Now let me show you my sticker books. Let's move on to my reusable sticker books. I have two. This one is from Amazon, and this one is from Planting Roses. This one I've been in for a year or two. Um, I've definitely been in this one for longer. This one is newer. So you'll see there's a little bit of overlap between these because I didn't start them at the same time, but I've really been trying to keep these um, functional for me. I do have a third reusable sticker album that I started like 
four or five years ago when I started planning, and I don't ever pull from it. It's a discombobulated mess. A lot of stickers I don't use anymore. I really probably should just de-stash it. It's the same album as this one, but in green. But these are the two that I actually use. So these are the ones I wanted to show you. So this first one here is um, some functional um, and then, then a lot of icons and character stickers. So like I said, I started this one first. So I really was putting everything in here in the beginning. And I just collect um, leftovers, sheets that are almost empty, um, samplers, and you know, every once in a while I'll go through and put them all in, but I just collect them here at the front until I feel <laughs> the urge to go and organize them. It is kind of therapeutic to go through and organize them. But let's go through. This first page is all like functional items, and then I've got three pages of scripts here, so a lot of scripts. Um, and then I've got animals and birthday. So this whole page here is like cooking and food. And then this is shopping and coffee. And then I've got more like shopping, spending money and uh, like happy mail. And then cleaning and game night. And then this is seasonal. So it's two full pages. I've got spring, summer, fall and winter. I love this page. It's so fun. And then I've got gardening, um, alcohol slash wine, and nails slash me time. And then this whole sheet is reading. And then I've got like bath night, music, television, and YouTube. And then work and working out. And this is like love and date night. And then like planning doctor. And then planning kind of merged over here with some random school slash work icons. And then you've got travel, Disney. These are all completely random here at the bottom. And then these are kind of like emotion character stickers. And then I've got some more functional items. So arrows, uh, check boxes, and some bows. And these down here were like baby uh, icons and characters. Then I've got more functional items. So uh, boxes and checklists watercolor swatches and notepads, more boxes, and then some floral deco. Um, I've got foiled scripts and then kind of like decorative headers and things. A whole other page of scripts. I have a lot of scripts. Um, habit trackers and then more boxes. And then this is more florals. And then I've got some empty pages here for growth. In the very last page of the book, I have full boxes. I've actually pulled a lot from this sheet. Um, so this was a full sheet here, but I've got full boxes um, if I ever need to add to a kit. So that is everything in this reusable sticker book. And then the last one here, um, like I said, I started this one more recently. It's from Planting Roses. And I try and do this one by color. Um, I got, I was inspired um, from Taylor of Tattoo Teacher Plans to organize this one this way. Um, as you can see, everything else I have is organized by um, like theme or um, what it is. And this one, instead of what the sticker is, it's just the color of the sticker. And I have actually been pulling from this, so I do like this method. So again, I have some sheets at the front that I need to um, put in here. And this one actually will go in there. So, um, like I said, this is organized by color. It is not, like I just started filling it in, so there's not a ton in here. Um, and then I did pull like small labels in the color um, to put at the top. So I've got red functional, and then this would be red icons. And then I left um, a, you know, room for growth between each color. So orange functional, orange icons yellow functional, yellow icons, green functional, green icons, and then this this one I kind of broke down like true green and then like kind of sage and teal. I did the same with blue. So I've got blue functional, blue icons, um, or maybe I didn't, maybe it was just green. Ignore that. So blue icons and then pink functional pink icons and the pink functional I had to carry over here. And then I've got purple functional purple icons and then gray functional gray icons. Brown functional brown icons. I think that may be the last one. Yes. 
So I still have a ton of room for growth here. Um, I don't really know, you know, what I'll do with all these other sheets, but so far I've really been liking putting leftovers in here this way. So those are all of my sticker organization um, methods, uh, albums, and reusable sticker books, as well as my sticker collection. I feel like I went pretty in depth of what I have in these albums. Um, but like I said, I just I have this urge to do something a little bit different. Um, I don't really want to put a lot of money into it. I know there are the Ray and Tay um, sticker albums that are very intriguing. I just don't know if I want to put the money into buying those in the sleeves when I have all of these albums. So I don't know. I'd love to hear how you do your um, sticker organization, if it's similar to mine, or if you have any suggestions or um, thoughts about my sticker organization and collection. I'd love to hear it. Um, I will have the shops listed below for the ones that I know still have these albums. If you are in the market for albums, um, like I said, I have really liked using these and I've been using them for years. I just kind of feel the urge to change it up. So if I do, I will definitely let y'all know and do a um, updated organization video for you. Um, I know I will link Taylor of Tattoo Teacher Plans organization video. She did like a five part series of reorganizing hers and she did Avery binders and sleeves. And that is very intriguing. I feel like it'd be a little bit more cost effective than going um, the other route but we'll see i may just end up sticking with this because it's what i know we shall see but i really appreciate y'all watching if you enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up if you are not already please subscribe to my channel i do try and upload videos for you every single week relating to planning content and like I said, I'll have all of the shops linked below that I know still offer these organization items. And if you are not already, please go follow me over on Instagram. I'm at Georgia Mom Plans. I am way more active over there and you can see how I use all of these stickers. Comment below, let me know what you thought, and I will see you guys next time. Bye!